students hello everyone this is senior college mathematics topic of discussion is algebraic process if you are in ss1 ss2 ss3 you are preparing for YEG, for neco for gc for NAPTEP, for jam or any other external exams into high school this topic this lesson is for you and you are at the right place Peter Cos Education Community Lesson 11 Substitution in Algebraic Expressions Substitution in Algebraic Expressions There are two ways or there are two types of substitution in algebraic expression the first one when the value to be substituted is given to you or you know it to solving for the value to be substituted under given conditions so we look at the first type in this lesson 11 and the second type in lesson 12 so let's take lesson 11 examples before that for updates follow voice of peter course via youtube at peter course educom to do that subscribe to this channel like and share this video to your friends to your colleagues to your classmates facebook fb.me slash peter course educom instagram at peter course ec telegram t.me slash peter course educom in all of these platforms, you get updated from time to time about what is happening at Peter Kors Education Community where you have access to quality, unlimited, and simplified mathematics teachings in series. In series, okay, example 57, and we are taking the first type when the value to be substituted is given when that value is given okay example 57 evaluate a b square root of c square plus b square given that a is equal to 2 b equal to minus 3 and c equal to 4 you simply write the expression and replace a b c with their respective values in this form now what you must note is b equal to minus 3 b is squared so everything about b is squared. So, you, so you are squaring minus 3 not only 3 if you square only 3 your answer will be minus 9 but when you squared minus 3, your answer will be plus 9. So you must take note of that. So 2 times minus 3, you have minus 6 times square root. 4 square is 16. Minus 3 square is 9. So if you add the bracket, you have 25. And the 25 root is 5 times minus 6. That is minus 30. Very simple. 58. What is the value of P square Q minus Q square P if P is equal to 3 and Q equal to minus 1? You simply write the expression and you insert the respective value in. Noting the minus value. So the first Term, you have 3 square times minus 1 minus bracket open q square is minus 1 or square note the way I'm writing it you are squaring both the minus and the number then times 3 on the first side 3 square is 9 times minus 1 is minus 9 minus 1 square is plus 1 times 3 is 3 then the minus before the bracket comes in so minus 9 minus 3 
is minus 12. You are owing Mr. A 9. That is minus 9. You are owing Mr. B 3. That is minus 3. Put together, you are owing Mr. A and B 12. That is minus 12. Minus 12. Example 59. If S equal minus 7, Y equal 3, calculate the value of S plus Y, S minus Y in bracket or square. You simply write the expression you want to evalu evaluate. You replace S and Y with a value of minus 7 plus 3. So you have minus 4 over minus 10. You know, if you divide negative number by negative number, your answer is positive. So you reduce 4 over 10 by 2. You have 2 over 5. And when you square 2 over 5, you have 4 over 25. All right? Example 60. Three numbers, N, Y, Z, are in the ratio 2, ratio 7, ratio 11. Calculate the value of 9Y, 9N, 9N, minus 2Y, all over 5Y, minus 2Z. So, the ratio N, ratio Y, ratio Z, equal to 2, ratio 7, ratio 11. That simply means n is equal to 2, y is equal to 7, and z is equal to 11. That is the meaning. So the expression 9n minus 2y over 5y minus 2z comes in. You replace the letters with what they stand for. You know 9n means 9 times n, so you have 9 times 2. You multiply you have 18 minus 14 over 35 minus 22 you subtract you have 4 all over 13 4 over 13 consider that mathematics in simplest form example 61 given that p equal 1 over 2 Q equal 4, evaluate 3P square Q plus P Q square. You write the expression, anywhere P appears, you put 1 over 2, all that affects P also affects it, then this is Q now, 4, then plus the same thing. So you have 3 times, 1 over 2 square, that is 1 over 4. Then times 4 plus 1 over 2 times 16. If you simplify fat 4 divide 4, you have 3 times 1, that is 3. Divide 16 by 2, you have 8. 8 times 1 is 8. By the time you add, you have 11. You have 11. Example 62 giving that P equal to. Q equal minus 5 and arrow equal minus 4. Evaluate 3P square minus Q square minus arrow Q. You write down the expression and you replace P, Q, arrow with what they stand for. And all that affect P, Q, arrow will also affect their values in this form. But you must take note of this term. Very important. So, 2 square here means... 2 times 2 minus minus 5 means minus 5 square means minus 5 times minus 5 minus 4 Q means minus 4 times minus 4 times minus 4 so 2 times 2 you have 4 minus 5 times minus 5 is plus 25 minus 4 times minus 4 is plus 16 plus 16 times minus 4 becomes minus 64 that is why I didn't rush it. Just break it down for you to see. Okay. 3 times 4, you have 12. Minus 24, 5. Minus times minus 4 is plus 64. When you add and subtract, you have 51. 51 at the end of the day. Okay. 
Example 63, evaluate x squared plus 4s minus 2 all over 2s squared plus s minus 3 where s is equal to 1. Simple, you write the given expression in fractional form, you replace s with 1 all true. We do that, you have 1 plus 4 minus 2 all over 8 okay 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 for the numerator 1 square is 1 4 times 1 is 4 then you have minus 2 for the denominator you have 1 square is 1 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 minus 3 if you add the numerator, 1 plus 4 is 5, minus 3 is 2. The denominator, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 minus 3 is 0. And you must know that 3 over 0 is undefined because you cannot divide anything by 0. I'm sure if this question were to be objective, you will see one of the options as undefined. So don't be afraid to tick it because your steps, your procedures, they are correct. They are correct. Okay. End of lesson 11. Thanks for watching and learning with Peter Kors Education Community. Don't forget, watch out for more from the voice of Peter Kors. For inquiry, for questions, you can contact the voice of Peter Kors. Yeah, this WhatsApp number or through the email address for the complete package of this topic or the break process lesson 1 to lesson 15 you can also contact him at a very little token you get the complete package delivered to you lastly if you are not safe you need to be safe to do that you have to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ because he is the only one that has the power to save anyone. If you are saved already, I tell you, be congratulations, live righteously and be prepared. Stay out of trouble, take good care of yourself, study your books, do the needful at all times and goodbye for now.